Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Cakes, that as we do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. You can reach Teddy every trading day, folks, at forex-trading-unlocks.com. That's forex-trading-unlocks.com. Teddy Cakes, that, what's going on, brother? Morning, guys. We got some signals for you in the forex markets today. Oh, we like that. You gave us some good ones last week, man. I mean, that uh, yeah, I, we, we had some good turns here, man. Uh, well, one of your favorite currencies I know is the U.S. dollar yen. So why don't we start with that one? Awesome. Um, yesterday they planted a nice new move low uh, to start the trading week off, and they've uh, rallied off that ever since into today's trade. And right now they're actually kind of near their highs for the day. And that's something that's indicated in a lot of the currency crosses against the dollar. Uh, the yen um, stamped a new move low yesterday, and now they're higher again today. So we have a lot of bullish momentum for the U.S. dollar. So I don't think it's Japanese uh, weakness. It's more U.S. dollar strength that's being indicated here in front of the G20 meeting. Okay. And then you have the same thing going on in the uh, U.S. dollar Swiss. They slammed a brand new low yesterday because um, they've all been trading and trending for the past week and a half. And then off of that low, they're higher again today. So, and there's also a short-term buy signal as of the close of yesterday. So meaning once again, U.S. dollar strength is coming into the market. And this is all on the eve of the G20 meetings coming uh, coming up this uh, week. Yeah, and that's interesting. The, the Swiss broke that swing point going back there a bit. Yeah, interesting, man. I mean, Absolutely. it came right back, but you can see that it did, did break it, so. Yeah. Right, and now it's pretty solid. Now, since the U.S. markets have opened, they've come back a little bit off their highs of the day, but they're still pretty strong. And then we have also, we have the pound dollar, where the pound made a new high against the dollar yesterday and then fell off it sharply. That gave us a sell signal on the close also for the short term. Okay. So it's a little mixed today. I don't know where it is right now. It was lower earlier um, when I looked at it, but then it was a little bit um, unchanged. Yeah, it's, it's almost probably, flat, 126.84, right. So, and then we have, last but not least, we have the Euro US dollar. Um, that gave us a, a, a bearish engulfing signal as of the close of yesterday, and they were slightly lower earlier, and right before this, uh, we signed down here, it was right around even to lower, so I don't know, it's, it's right around there. Yes. So, and uh, so that gives us a confirmation right now that we have four major currencies where we have bullish momentum in the dollar. So if you don't, if any of your viewers trade those currencies, I would say, be careful fading the dollar right now. I would not be why I would, if you're if you're already against the dollar, keep your stops tight and don't try and move that against you know further because that would one it's a bad mistake to trade that way anyhow. And this would be a move where we could see a build going on into Thursday's trade before it starts to kind of settle into a range trade before the G20 meeting. I yeah, I guess I mean there's no doubt the G20 is going to move markets. I mean that's you know <laughs> that, well it has the capability of moving markets that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. And what will end up happening, folks, is it's in Japan, so that's going to be 24 hours ahead of us. Well, no, 12 hours ahead of us. Yeah, interesting. Right. Yeah, so. Yeah. It's always dinner time in Chicago when Japan, you look at Japan. I, I say that again? I said dinner time in Chicago is when you watch Japan. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Much. No, there's not, listen, you know, so. it, it's, it, it is amazing. There's no doubt. When that yen gets stronger, uh, that, that gold market just goes to the moon, man. I mean, it's pretty right. intense. Now, how about that? What do you think about the gold market, I think, going into this meeting? Do you think it's going to get kind of into a range trade over the next couple of days? Well, I like that it's backing down right now because that move was so exponential on the way up. Do you know sure. what I'm saying? I, I like this little rest. That's what we need. Um, mm -hmm. It looks like it's coming back with lighter volume than we went up on. So at this point, I, I like what's going on. And even the dollar index, uh, the way it's trying to get into the highs of yesterday, it doesn't have the juice. Uh, right. So it looks to me like, yeah, it's a counter trend bounce. But as you said, I, I think it's time for counter trend bounce. That's what it comes down to. So sure. you know, we'll see sure. how this uh, baby shakes out. Uh, mm -hmm. the and I think that your, your viewers should be very cautious if they're trading any of the derivatives markets over the next couple of days because we have all the big dogs coming to the table this weekend in Japan, you know. So and between the tariff, uh, you know, talks as well as we have the Brexit talks. You know, there's there's a lot of key fundamental economic things that are on the table that it's not like normal G20 meetings where like, hey, we're going to talk about this issue and how we're going to maybe deal with it over the next couple of years. These are things that are at the forefront. We are going to have some sort of resolution with the tariff war eventually. Um, and Brexit, I don't know, October 31st, they keep on pushing dates out, but eventually it will happen, right? Right. No, no, I, I, there's no doubt. 
Yeah, you get a lot of moving pieces there, man. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Agree. They're all interesting right now. Fourth of July week. Yes. Yeah, and, you know, well, that's why they say it's fireworks, man, right? You know? Right. I, yeah. And, and you, you know, what's pretty wild is that you can see, you know, Draggy last week, I mean, bottom line, he's saying, hey, man, you know, if I have to, you know, put some juice into the market, you know, I'm going to do it. Um, right. You know, so I suspect even these central bankers are all looking out for themselves, you know? Sure. So, sure. You know, it's like once this thing starts, okay, you know, where are we going to go with the whole deal? They're so. not central bankers for the world. They're central bankers for the country, right? Exactly. I mean, that's a, yeah, right. for sure. Right. Yeah, no. right. And the ECB guys, I wouldn't doubt that if by, by August they start to do some sort of quantitative easing uh, um, moves. Yeah, because it's going to be interesting. They, they've had plenty of time to try to figure out what will happen if you get a hard Brexit, you know? Because, I mean, the, the more that this keeps going, I'm try what I'm trying to figure out is that it's been going on for so long that, like, even if they leave in a hard Brexit, is an easy Brexit right now because some of these companies have figured something else out. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, we've been going on a year and a half now. Yeah, they still you know? have no trade deals. Though. You know? That's, the, that's yeah. the hard Brexit that would they would hit them on day one. Yeah. Right. So. Interesting. Yes, yeah. definitely. I, oh, the, <laughs> There's no doubt. It's going to be next week. Next week will definitely be a weird holiday week with the 4th of July breaking it up and stuff. So. Yeah. And it, what, 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 what Teddy's saying here, folks, this is what is really a trip. So picture, 4th of July is Thursday. No one's going to be working Wednesday by 11 o'clock in the morning. Market has a half day on Wednesday, actually. We oh, it does? The, yeah. So oh, that's that, awesome. Just that means no one's going to work Tuesday. It really breaks up the week. It does. Yeah, guys, let me know now. I won't be here next week. No, okay. totally, man. Good for man. you. We, no. we won't either Wednesday that, afternoon. Uh, wow. We, we might in the morning, actually. But yeah, that's, no, that's because we'll close when the market closes, right. which I believe is 1 o'clock on that Wednesday that, prior to the 4th. Oh. I always find that one amusing because July 4th Eve, not a huge holiday. I know. Um, but, but I'll they, take it. They should, I'll take it. No, they should have gave us off July 5th, man. Yes. What's wrong with them? That's right. We I don't know. get any days off, folks, okay? We, 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 I, it, it, isn't it funny, Teddy? We get a, we get a streak. When's the, the streak? The market, uh, it's closed more often in the beginning of the year because yeah. you get, you get um, right. MLK, you get President's Day, right. Um, right. you get this July 4th, right. but then once you get into the back end, you pretty much get... Uh, this things. is... This is where we get that stretch of no days off anymore. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. And yeah. you know, and, you know, yeah. you and get... as we we're just saying, that that that's currency-wise, folks, this is going to be a trip then from Wednesday all the way to Sunday night because mm -hmm. yes. the gold closes from Friday anyway. Oh, I agree. Open Sunday right. night in Australia. That Friday is going to be like the Friday after Thanksgiving, kind of the similar. Right. Uh, yes, you know. Yes. Put on your option positions, guys. Yeah, they, yeah. Can, they can move that thing that's anywhere. What, that's what the right. trades are going to be, is in the options. Big time. Sure. Teddy, you have a great one, a safe one. Well, yeah. listen, man, happy 4th of July. Have too. a great 4th, man. Thank you. I'll see you guys in two weeks. You sure awesome. will, pal. Who knows what we'll be in two weeks, man. Too. Yeah. Think of all the answers we'll have from that G20 by then. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, have a Teddy. great one, man. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back.